So he mentioned Zion Lex. Okay. This is Zion Lex's uh, um, YouTube. Okay. And so here he is. Zion Lex, the brother here, is debating the rabbi. You know what I'm saying? Great knowledge. Thank you for calling in. You see, here he is actually debating the rabbi. You see, the brother Zion Lex knows his shh. He knows his shh. High quality live streams for free. What was tradition? So, you know, again, like, like. So if you ever want to watch the debate, you'll find it here. Okay. Um, Zion Lex on his page, he, he, he gets into the Kabbalah. He does a lot, man. He like, he's, he's, and then he shows the big, you know, similarities amongst religion. He, he's cool. But here he is uh, about four months ago. This is the Jewish blackness thesis revisited. So if you want to, if you want to get scholarly research on the so-called black people being so-called Jews or whatever, this is where you want to go. Okay. This is where you want to go. Okay, so Zion Lex is like really, really good with that. Okay, and uh, I'll throw that in the chat if you guys want to know. All right, what else did he say, man? Ban from TV was dropping that shit, man. Um. Oh, and I want to finish. So this is uh the black. This is a uh, Babylon from Babylon to Ten Buck Two. Okay. All right. The Black Jewish Empire of Ghana. So remember, like they, they talked about the Black Jewish Empire of Nigeria, uh, um, uh, what is now you know Asia. But here it is of Ghana. The ancient Black Empire of Ghana was established in the Western Sudan during the colonial period. The Western Sudan was called French West Africa. The northern boundary of this region was the Sahara Desert. And so he's breaking it down where it is. Senegal, Gambia, okay, by the Niger River. This river flows from Guinea Highlands to the infamous cities of Timbuktu to Gao. And then makes a sharp turn and flows to Benin in Nigeria. So you're talking about our hood. Like that's West Africa. That's our hood. You know what I'm saying? In ancient times, the Carthaginians, which are the Canaanites or the Phoenicians, the Canaanites from North Africa, penetrated the Sahara Desert between the Western Sudan and the second and third centuries B.C., when northern and eastern Africa had amassed over a million Jews. These Jews began a continuous migration to the region of the Niger River, according to the researches of Noam Schlutz. The traditions of the Jewish traders in the Sahara stretches back into biblical times, Schluz continues, and it is not all surprising to encounter every part of the desert traces and even survivals of the primitive Judaism at which one time played an important role in the whole religion of the Sahara from Senegal to the very borders of Somaliland. As I had mentioned earlier, this region that extends across the entire width of Africa below the Sahara Desert from Senegal to Somaliland is known as the Sudan or Black Africa. Between the second and third centuries, the black Jews of Arabia continued migrating across the Red Sea into Ethiopia. The largest exodus of Jews occurred during the persecution of the Arabs led by Muhammad. He has said on his dying bed that he wanted Islam to be the supreme throughout all of Arabia. There was a Jewish tribe called the Rikshab in which crossed the Red Sea and, and migrated to the extreme point of the Western Sudan. At the same time that the Jews were migrating across the Sudan and Ethiopia, they also migrated southward to Libya, Tunisia, Algeria, and Morocco, the Muslim lands, to the fertile region between Senegal and Niger rivers. When the Jews from the north and the east met between these two rivers, they established a confluence or a crossroad in West Africa where men could exchange their culture, ideas, and merchandise. These Jewish migrations went on with great frequency around 300 after death, around when they started creating um, Christianity. And they continued with the utmost regularity for 1,200 years. Uh, Joseph J. Williams point out, of course, where the Jewish migration of Northeast Africa. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, let me see. I think there was another one on 133. Are the Jews amongst the Ashantis. So we know Ashantis is West Africa. Among the Ashantis of the Gold Coast, Ghana, are found Jews who observe many Hebrew customs. They do not fight on Saturday, but they rest. 
they celebrate the new year of the Jews, which occurs in September or in early October. They use the word Achmen at the end of their hymn of Thanksgiving. Like the Hebrews of old, they marry in their tribe only. They perform cross cousin marriages. The Ashanti Jews also observe laws of uncleanliness after childbirth, purification ceremony of the 40th day, the menstrual seclusion law, which is, you know, women got to be secluded when they're on their menstrual cycle and ceremonial uh, ablutions. The Ashanti Jews have been a have a breastplate like the high priest in ancient Israel, and it is divided into 12 parts. Representing the 12 tribes of Israel. Also, oh, guys, for, for those that don't know, the word Israel, Israel is Isis Ra and El. Isis Ra and El. Israel. You didn't know the Ashanti was African. Oh my God. They're they're everything. They're they're not anything but African. The Ashanti is West Africa. The Ashanti uh kingdom, right? That's a West African kingdom. Uh, they're over there by uh here's a picture. The Ashanti, you know what I'm saying? They're over there by the Ebo and all that stuff. Basically modern day Nigeria. The Ashanti Kingdom. These are some of the where 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 the so-called black Jews are at. You know what I'm saying? The black Jews of Dahomey. Okay, so it goes on and on. So anyway, the Yoruba Jews of Nigeria. There are black Jews in southern Nigeria who call the Emo Okwam or strange people by the native Africans. But these black Jews call themselves by the Hebrew name. Benai Ephraim, or the sons of Ephraim. The Jews claim that their ancestors migrated from Morocco, a fact which God be says is supported by their language, a mixture of Maghribi Arabic, which is African Arabic, and local Negro speech, whatever the hell that means. Thus, Abu Father has become Yaba, Abu is Yaba, Um, Mother, Hebrew, M is Emma. Nevertheless, most of their language is so similar to the black Yoruba around them. The Yorubas have influenced these Jews to a great extent in their external social life. It is said that the crocodile is a sacred animal for all. The customary sacrifices of the Yoruba appear to be the same for the Jews. The assertion of these Yoruba Jews is that their ancestors were driven out from locality to locality by Muslim persecution. They did not find rest even when they arrived at Timbuktu. Surely the prophecy had been fulfilled. And among these nations shall find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give in thee there a, tremend, a trembling heart. <clears throat> and failing of eyes and a sorrow of mind. These Yoruba Jews lived in the Ando district where they wrote in 19. 30. So I'm just breaking stuff down from this book called From Babylon to Timbuktu. I put the brother on hold because I was reading it the other day and I wanted to find it to read to you guys and I couldn't find it, but I did even better. Here's the PDF. And so you guys could see by Rudolph Windsor. 